right, Dan, so can you tell us uh, how you first got into shaping and how long ago that was? I uh, started when I was 18 and I grew up around the corner from a shaper, kind of always like admired what he did and just liked kind of being around the boards. It's pretty impressive to see all the different sustainable products that you're using to, to shape the boards. Can you tell us some about the different products and why you've chosen those? Yeah, I mean, I grew up building boards on the East Coast and it was a lot harder to get materials over there than it is here in Southern California. I was doing production glassing polyester surfboards, which is traditional surfboard construction. Um, pretty toxic stuff. After doing that at a production level, I was glassing for a company, like doing eight boards a day. Um, just being in a jumpsuit and a respirator for 10, 12 hours a day glassing was pretty gnarly. I wanted to build surfboards, but I didn't want to have to be exposed to toxic materials all day. Tell me a little about the advantage of the hemp. We've done a lot of things to clean up the construction. I would say the hemp is the most notable. It's got us the most recognition. The hemp fiber that we use, we started using, we've probably been through 20 or 30 different weights and weaves. So the hemp that we use is a natural fiber. It's a very clean, sustainable, simple fiber to use. It's super strong. Uh, from a sustainable standpoint, it pulls one and a half tons of carbon out of the atmosphere per acre per year. Carbon should be in the ground or in plants, not in the air. So that's kind of why I'm super passionate about the hemp. So it gives you a lot of strength. How's it, how's it perform, like when you're riding it? The construction that we use on the mid lengths and the retro fishes and the long boards is a little bit different than we use on the short boards. On the retro uh, mid-length long boards, we use a seven and a half ounce organic hemp and we're fully wrapping the boards. Whereas on our performance short boards, we're using a four and a half ounce organic hemp that's just reinforcing the tail. So we are using different weights of the fabric to reinforce different shapes differently. The more we use, the stronger it is, but also weight goes along with that. There's kind of a sweet spot for everybody with weight. And how does it compare to carbon fiber? Is that the right comparison? I can't compare it directly to carbon fiber, other than carbon fiber is a synthetic fiber, mm -hmm. so it does have to go through that molten process and extrusion. Once again, getting back to hemp, all it is is grown, dried, and woven. There's no melting process. Mm -hmm.